today is day three in Mexico and we're going to see Uxmal and Caba, ancient Mayan ruins today. Uh, here at Uxmal it means uh, three times built and I'm not sure why it's three times, three levels or something like that. And they built this to worship the rain gods here because in this area there's no sinkholes, no rivers, no lakes, no nothing. And so they have this to worship the rain gods. It's uh, the biggest one in the area. We're going to try and climb to the top today. It's uh, stunning. It's so massive. This is a house where their bedrooms would be. And because they had invented cement, basically, back in the Mayan times, they could make these very, very thick walls and keep the heat out. So the inside would be like a very comfortable 70 degrees, even though it was 100 degrees outside. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. temple steps I'm gonna take it as a diagonal Dave like you're gonna go diagonal or straight up these are so steep I didn't come all this way to not come up here we go Looking down definitely we'll works. Go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, through the shadow, through the sun rays. And oh. on and on, we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways. And you. So impressed by all the, all the architectural detail and stone carving from so long ago. Look, these are knots. They carved knots into this. And this X is, is supposed to represent the scales on a snake, which they worshipped. And I'm actually not sure what these like upside down, upside down pyramid things are, but I really like them. The rain god over here. I see three faces. So, for lunch on our Ushmal day, I got sopa de lima for the third time because <laughs> I want to try them all and see which restaurant has the best one. I don't even, I don't even know what this restaurant's called actually, but it's right by Ushmal. Dave got uh, like a black bean soup that he's going to try for you in just a minute. The difference between this one is instead of like tortilla strips, there's like whole chips in here and um, tomato chunks. All the other ones I've had are more tortilla strips. You wish you were eating this one? Really? I'd say the broth on this one is less intense as the other two places, um, but it's got the same basic you know, slightly sour flavor. 
Orange. This one's super heavy on the lime. Good choice. Always. Cochinita Pibil. How is it? So good. Okay, I'm gonna try mine. Um, it's basically the pork that they cook in the ground. Some rice, some this uh, vinegar, onions, and black beans. And you put it on this taco. Okay. Impressive. For dessert, Dave got flan and I got crema espanol. Crema española. Um, which I guess is like custard. So, or pudding. We'll find out. We'll find out. Gracias. Oh, with some. Oh. Can I try it? I don't traditionally like flan. Oh, it smells good. The texture is so weird. I mean, it tastes good, but the texture is just bad. Is there cinnamon on top? So you have to plan it kind of in a cycle. But then apple. Oh, mine's creamier. Yeah, it's like a pudding. Okay, mine tastes like a like a cinnamon vanilla pudding. Oh, mine's good. Sour stuff, apple, banana. Yeah, I'm glad I got this one instead of the other one. A local drink, chaya, which is like a tree vegetable, like the leaf of a tree. It's right behind you. It's right behind me. Yes, it's that. And it's mixed with uh, pineapple juice. This one is. So I've never had it before. I guess people have it a lot. So it smells like pineapple. It's good. It's good. It's very subtle. Yeah. Um, it's very light on the pineapple. Mm -hmm. um, like, like watery pineapple, I would guess. It's pretty good. You want to try? So are you flying like Mexico City or how are you? Hey, don't drink all my drink. <laughs> You stick with your Coca-Cola. We are at the ruins of Kaaba, which means the powerful hand, or the powerful scepter hand, something like that. It has the traditional Mayan with the four walls and the Saba tree in the middle representing it's the tree of life. So that means it's much more simple than Ushmal. From what I understand, this one was conquered, so all of the people, all of the resources, all of the food, all went to Ushmal instead of here. So it's much smaller. It is still stunning, though. Here's a, like a house where people would live. This one is much more white in color. And this one's much more red, orange in color. I find that interesting. I guess in back when they, these were built, the front parts, these flat parts where the rocks are, were like stucco um, in all colors, but they've washed away, obviously.